about us? Seems like everyone does these days. It's simple. Too much money and too much power is held by just a few people. And it's only getting worse. So, we decided to do something about it. Let's go. This is like the, uh, what's that? No, it's not that. Let's say it's like the last of us, uh, I'm gonna keep calling. It's like the last of us multiplayer game coming out. Kind of looks like, uh, what you call them? Watch Dogs. Smash for for freaking what you call a hyenas. Fair game. And now, what you've all been waiting for. Enjoy the show. What we're all waiting for is Bloodborne remaster. Just saying. Super Earth, our home, our way of life. But freedom doesn't come free. Is this the Witch Hollow game? Our trooper? No! <laughs> <laughs> Look familiar? Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. And you could be next. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Experience true freedom. This is, this is not what I, what I thought. What I thought it was was in just an, another galaxy. generic, um, horror place co-op game. The resources we need AKA trash. To build a better tomorrow. The freedom to encounter fascinating life forms and introduce them to our sophisticated technology. The freedom to make new friends and represent the best of what Super Earth has to offer. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force and work together to spread prosperity, liberty, and democracy. This is definitely inspired by Starship Trooper, which is weird because it's actually a Starship Trooper video game Become coming out. Part of something larger than yourself. So it's like if you want to play a game that's Become making like a, a it has any kind of influence Become from a universe, a you'll play that game instead. Become a hell diver. Becoming a hell diver may result in decapitation or morbid occasion. Not a hell diver. Yeah, it looks like shit. It looks like any kind of generic four player co op horror game, like, you know, Back for Blood and World War Z and Redfall. And again, it also seemed like Starship Trooper, which, you know, again, I'd rather just play that. Sir? Excuse me, Wall. Is that uh, that new EA Magic based game? Gina Taurus is in it. Engage a little. Both these games are showing so far multi platform. The previous games are all platforms. This game's also on all platforms. But they want to like label it as like only on PS5 and PC because they don't want to like, have Xbox with no name on the phone showcase. Xbox and Tinder will do the same thing. And it's just business. Light blades have established a stronghold. And Kirkin seems to think she is fucking jacked. Sold. Jury's still out on that one. <laughs> it looks like freaking the, uh, the, the, the freaking Ray Wharton's in Inquisition. Why don't you create your own characters? It's like a you know default character, which would be lame. The default character 
makes me less interested in the game. It's like a, it's a magic base FPS game. Roshanians haven't had enough yet. We haven't given There's Shannon Torres. Your men killed my family. Don't turn your back on me! Shit him up with that Thanos. I don't even know who you are. You took everything from me. I don't even know who you are. out in July. I think there's a few games coming out this summer, which is rare. Usually summer times are gaming droughts. I guess the industry's starting to smart up and start release games in, in summer. All five games that you can with some good stuff. It's like that, uh, what you call them. Ghost, uh, what you call him? Is it Ghost Wire? I don't think it's, it's not Ghost Wire. It's Ghost something, Ghost Runner. So I don't think, you know. Yeah, Ghost Runner. Platform games not only on PlayStation, it's on PC as well, and on what's your plan? If but knowing you have only 66 days to live, mm -mm -mm -mm. is this that new digital streams game? The not Warframe Warframe. Cause that trailer had a uh, negation guy. It's something different. Any difference at the end of the day. You know better than anyone else. A Chinese developer. A lot of Chinese aesthetics. Your studios usually let a level infinite has been the ones publishing a lot of the Chinese um, video games lately. He let you live? What secret did you sell him? To be honest, I'm just like, like a generic um, solo genre game. It looks like if you play this game, you, you will basically have the exact same experience if you play freaking Holy Lord or freaking, you know. The way you avoid that is by having like an actual deep interest in freaking like game and story. One last toast. AKA Ghost of Shishima. And we're all that game separates itself because it's a, it's, its story is super unique. So it's the main character.
Udo statue. Time is not on his side. All we have to do is wait. Yes. Let's kill him with time. Phantom Blade. Zero. What kind of bus there's another Phantom What's Blade. Plan? Knowing you have only 66 days to I feel like the the story element of this game, because it's it sounds like the story element is you have 66 Get days to live. Back. I think that would actually like be unique if you actually did have 60, 60 days to live. Like like let's say the game works in a ways where you have 60 in-game like hour like days before like your game automatically just ends. You gotta beat the game in 66 days. As I looked at the Phantom Blade, it's definitely like a, an already established entity. You alive, guy? Make sure it actually has. It's not. <laughs> there it is. Have to find that. Got that there was an update. There was an update. Better reassign uh, audio inputs, and it didn't have my microphone attached to the phone chat. I'm so uninterested in this shit right now that I'm like looking at an Xbox giveaway for Deadline 2 so I can see how to fucking sign up for it. Dead Island 2. So far, this showcase hasn't shown anything. Oh, look, it's Solid Snake. Maybe this is interesting. It's probably like a remaster. Maybe a full reboot because that series has been dead for a while. It's probably like a remaster. No, good solid. A. Snake Eater. See, this is like a rem a remake of the Snake Eater. So far, it's the first thing interesting they show in this little conference, and it's a remake. That's not a good thing for gaming. When the most interesting thing shown in 30 minutes of a, a new showcase is a remake. Hey, all this other shit we're showing you? Boring as hell, but it's old game that's coming back to you. And you're interested. It's Final Fantasy. Blind marches on. These people live with a knife to their throat. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But this game's gonna be only on PlayStation for like a good year and a half. It's where you need some Sony or a bunch of fucking little bitches. You need a piece, you gotta wait on it. Got to love when people it throw out some money in the summer. game. A time is closer. That guy looks like he should be voiced by Sean Bean. You mean to tell me that the mother crystals are the reason the world is dying? The hell we're talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. This is the Final Fantasy game where the, de the, the, the developers say there's no black people or Asian people or anyone of color because he, he, they said it wouldn't be accurate to the time to the time that the game exists in. It's like a it's based on like medieval um Europe more along the lines of like Northern Europe. Never led astray by your blind resolve. And thus is the night of hope severed. We don't need your salvation. We'll save ourselves and we'll do it on our own terms. Apparently, migrations didn't happen in, in uh, medieval England. Who are we? What are the
I'm guessing the developers might have managed to know that the more exists. Enough of this. Yeah, uh, a whole section of black people who live in Europe. We shared a dream. I would be the king of the world. Darkness has taken hold of you. It has made you forget yourself. I don't want to be a monster, Clive. I have to stop him! I have to save him! I made a promise to my friends, and it is they who will give me the strength to end Yeah, they brain. got like a lot of backlash, and like, how come there's no one other than just white people in this game? It's like, well, because it's the time period this game set in, it doesn't have anyone who's not white. Okay, you would think the Japanese studio would be this freaking naive. Comes out June 20, 22nd this year and no one was not on PlayStation when you play, play it until freaking like next year or something 25 which by then no one's gonna care as issue with time release with time freaking exclusivity by the time a game does come out for the other platforms no one cares anymore about it I'm trapped here in this Final Fantasy nightmare. Like, no one's gonna go out and spend 500 escape. bucks to get play Final Fantasy every word is a step forward Just Alan Wake and the darkness. I'm the glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. She got on. The victim was one of their own. So that's his publishing Alan Wake. FBI Special Agent one Robert Nightingale. Epic this time. The other so Alan Wake games were published by Microsoft. Only the rumors. Which is why they were exclusive for a long period of time. This being published Someone by Epic, so it'll be multi-platform. Was playing a game with them. This is a sequel to Kill remake. Master. Maybe it's a remaster. I think it's, it's over here, over here master. I don't remember. The I think it's the third us. one. Oh, look at Sam Lake. He always finds a way to put himself in his games. Story. Sam Lake is one the of the developers from Wendy. He has a habit of being in all his games. So you can play as the detective chick. Is this the first Alan Wake game you can play somebody who's not Alan Wake? I feel like it is. I play all the Alan Wake games. I don't remember ever playing somebody else. There's something I mean, going I forget it. More horror of this one. This game is amazing. And vision. Something's not right. Easy now. Yeah, something it's like just a, a first. not a, a sequel or remaster, but like a, a reimagining essentially. Alan Wake 2. Okay, so it's a direct sequel. So it's called Alan Wake 2. And what does American Nightmare tie in, or is the, or or I guess it American Nightmare to be like just part of one? Assassino. So Assassin's Creed Mirage. So far, the only games that are interesting to showcase are games that are on every Welcome, other platform. Hidden one. So like Elwick Two is on all platforms. Assassin's Creed Mirage is on all platforms. I'd imagine that that's going to sell. That's what I'm saying. Uh, Metal Gear Solid Remake is probably going to be like a timed exclusive. The other game that was interesting they showed so far is also multi platform the Immortal of um, Avenue game from EA. This is kind of like the issue with these showcases. It's like you kind of want them to only show exclusives so you can figure out if you would or want to play a game on their platform. We need to but 90% of the time, they just show multi platform games. You could bribe the guards to look the other way. I shall see what flavor best suits me. This actual gameplay, though, which you saw hasn't shown yet. Mirage. The visuals look down great. Oh, I'm streaming, so talk, just talk. Quiet. It was a re response to, to you, Gussie. And let's go. So they're gonna bring back Bleed to Brian Gars and try to focus more on stuff, which is better lacking. Mm. The Assassin of Assassin's Creed hasn't really been a thing since Origins. And even that was built fairly different because being stealthy. Okay, Baghdad looking pretty nice. The stage is yours, Basim. I love her voice. I've loved her voice for years. It's such a unique voice.
Like she plays a character in my favorite TV show of all time. 24. She plays the mom for Terrace. Dina Ross. Yes, it's unfortunate ending. Yeah, it sucks. I've crossed paths with many. It's a new Street Fighter game. I played the Street Fighter game. No, I was not enjoying it. I've also met my share of enemies. You were here. No, so that's why we were party together. No, playing the shitty Street Fighter game. Like, I was going to play the beta because it's like another beta that came out where it's like just all on multiplayer beta. It's like this done. game just doesn't look fun. Watch my cousin play it on his PC on um, Sunday and it just didn't look good. Strength. Despite having no real need to do so. Honestly, I thought you were a complete idiot. I've also never been a shoot player. I've been picking up fighting games. I'm not nearly strong enough to chase after a monster like that. Yeah, I love her hair. It's probably worth looking into this nice shawl. Bandit key. He attempted to set the world under his heel through violence. A veritable madman. When you go looking for strength, it's not like a game. This journey doesn't have a real ending. I feel like this game should just jump for us with a Street Fighter. Order now to, get to see some bonus content. Oh, excuse me, moi. Perfect World Games. That's uh, Tower Fantasy. I was playing that last night. This is coming out for uh, console soon. Are you on PC? Free to play Elmo gotcha game. So think Genshin Impact, but online multiplayer and a futuristic aesthetic. But when I say Genshin Impact, it means you gotta rely on freaking Gamba to get characters. You know, doing character draws and whatnot. But it's better than Genshin. Genshin sucks. I think it's really fun. I put a lot of time into it, surprisingly. Even that review of Tower Fantasy, go YouTube channel. Got some streams of it. That Diluc. I got him. Yeah, he know, I got her. I have everyone other than the characters. And I had to pick a single dime because this game's actually generous when it comes to freaking RNG. For the most part. It's still pretty brutal, but it's, you know, it's generous notes where I think we've gotten all the main characters from the original release. Yeah. Whereas, like, when I played Genshin, I got to, like, level 25 without even getting, like, basic people. The game is, like, so stingy and thirsty for me to spend money on it. No release date? It's just gonna show a Tower Fantasy trailer? <laughs> well, fuck you too, Level Infinite. I, mean, I guess it's, just, it's nice to know this come up for consoles, but still. You do not remember? Then have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Of course. That begs the question. If Is this what, the, what you call him? Then where might our Crimson, what you call him? Yeah, what it's called? No. I don't remember. Crimson has him freaking one of the It looks like freaking Dragon's Dolphin. So this is Dragon Dolphin 2. Did it say Capcom? So it is Capcom. It is Dragon Dolphin 2. Oh, it's definitely Dragon's Dolphin. I don't know Dragon from anywhere. The best dragon fight in video games of all time is Dragon's Dolphin. 
you ain't if you if all you ever play with Skyrim is like, oh this is fun fighting dragons, you ain't played Dragon's Dogma. You can actually like climb on top of freaking dragons and fight them that way instead of just standing in front of them and smacking their face. Dragon's Dogma 2. Can't wait. I need to replay Dragon's Dogma again. Welcome back for a It's a new bungee game. So it's uh, finally a brand new freaking game, potentially as close as Sony does now own Bungie. You know Bungie says all their games are going to be on the platform. Hey, company's lying, so always hate things like that with good assault. Hurricane Bungie love oh it's a marathon. They're bringing marathon back. Marathon is one one of Bungie's first games, if not their first, if not the first game. So before there was Halo, there was Marathon. I'd imagine it's definitely multi platform. I can't imagine Bungie making Marathon, only one platform. And look at Destiny trailer. Who would have guessed that Bungie would just announce a new game? What would happen? A Destiny trailer right after. You've missed I haven't so touched much. Destiny forever because I didn't touch Lightfall. Destiny's one of those games gods. where if you're not buying each expansion, you might as well never play. Vanquish nightmares. But you have to have the new expansion so you can be able to even follow the damn game. We once unfortunately. Against. I wish you could have been there. Yeah, me too, kiddo. But hey, I'm here now. Wherever the hell here is. You're bringing Cade back? The Final Shape DLC. So Cade's coming back for the Final Shape DLC. Somebody in his other uh, channels looking at make make fun of the earbuds, saying who who the hell will, will buy some Sony uh, AirPods? A fate you will not share. I have been in your shadow for hours, but you sense nothing. Is that Craven? That's definitely Craven the Hunter. This is Spider-Man game. I asked for an equal, and this is what you find. So that's what the sequel's going to be about. It's going to be Craven Sorry. and Spider-Man. Perhaps a new hunting ground. Which is great because Craven is to me the best Spider-Man villain. And I've played both Spider-Man games so far, and they're both amazing games. Both Spider-Man and Spider-Man Miles Morales. Quite lovely. The great hunt begins. I'm sure there's more than in it just being Craven. The date here that Venom will likely be in this, in this sequel as well. Six months later. This is sighted in Queens. Closing in now. Queens, New York. Well, at least in, not in Kirby's neighborhood. The Kirby's in Brooklyn. You have no idea. 
symbiote Spider-Man. This whole blizzard hunt ends now. Leave Connor alone. The UI is extremely different from the first two games. Aggressive voice because the Venice symbiote when he has it on Spider-Man makes him a little more aggressive. Kind of like with the, the emo Peter Parker Spider-Man three movie, but not actually emo, just more aggressive. It's interesting to look for the suit. It doesn't look bad, but also doesn't look good either. Lizards across the river. I'm not gonna make it in time. Like, this is a rare L for Somniac. Somniac usually does a pretty good job when it comes to designing the suit Spider-Man, but that suit kind of looks wild. Like, it's just, it's just doing too much. I'm on it. Sounds like Craven's checking off his head. We don't have much time. Move. Uh, guess we'll chat later. Now it's Morales. He got some wings, some, uh, spider webs and little wings in his little thingy. The fish in the suit. Must be sushi night. You still got the hunter drone you hijacked? Really tough hiding it from my mom, yeah, I'll boot up and see you there. It's kind of similar to Spider-Man 2039, I think so. That one. They got here fast. Cause he has webs in his in his arms, so he can glide around the city. Can't let him find Connors, or he's done for. If you would have actually create your own freaking walkways now instead of having to jump place to place. It's a good upgrade. I hope this game doesn't allow you to rely on stealth too much. Because I played the Mouse Malice game. You can literally just beat that entire game just being stealthy and made it way too easy. They're trying to find uh, the, the lizard. Guessing Chris trying to hunt the lizard down, and Malice and Peter are trying to protect him from lizard. Not lizard from Craven. He's out of control. And also, imagine you end up fighting him too. One of the things where like you fight the bad guy, but he also becomes like an ally at the same time. You know, you're trying to save him. See, looks fucking nice as shit. Where am I now? How'd you find me? Follow the fish. Drones picking up lizard's trail. He's still eating. We can catch him off guard. Genki, get behind me. <laughs> That's a big freaking shed it freaking skin. How big is fucking lizard gonna be in this game? Doesn't that mean he's getting bigger? Hungrier too. Whoa. Hey man. New threats? The building swarming with hunters. I got a feeling you're gonna have to fight Peter. Uh yeah. Track. Like the, the Venice symbiote is hey, going to freaking tame him to a point where you end up fighting him. Mr. I think that entrance of him right there is a game kind of full on it. Well, this trailer is full on it. Okay, I think I got a lock. I mean, those actual gameplays are just a cutscene in the game, it's not a trailer. That wasn't me. Me neither. I don't even have a stomach, so. And this is a rare time that you really hear you really the Mark Ball sound serious and have a, a deep go. voice. Other than when he plays Sasuke. Go, go, 
This mission takes place after they find out about Harry Miles when the end of the last game, Miles Morales game. No one knows where Harry's at. Everyone thinks he's um, overseas, but really he's in a, a tank in his dad's office. Don't worry. They think I'm a friendly. Say if I was a bad guy, I shoot the freaking civilians. Help the door boat! Right. Distraction so you get spent off your ass. I warned you about going after Connors. Now this is on you. Poison clouds. That all you've got. Almost done here. Civilians are all safe. How are you looking? This gunship won't quit. I'm right behind you. We'll take it down together. No time. I got you. Time to go boom, boys. Oh, no, no, no. Spider-Man, it's got defenses. Spider-Man, hang on. Over there. That's not good. We found this. And that right there is why the last game was super easy. Miles pronounced it turned invisible. So you can imagine why this stealth became too easy. You can just turn invisible and you feel like it. So you're about to get caught, go in this. Do something risky? Go in this. Right behind you. I know, I know. Whoa. Ski faster. Fly faster. To be honest, the water physics of this game look a little rough. I do not want to be living. Didn't more. look that bad in mean, two that, that I played, but also played on PC, so things look better on PC. Good, Pete. I saved the tracker. Let's go, man, before he gets too far. No. He's mine. Are you sure? He's got big teeth. So do I. Um, he's not normally like that, right? No. He's never like that. Is that the last game he's gonna show? I mean, it was, that was a 
a good piece of gameplay, but it's also kind of lame. That could be a lot better. Like, uh, like other than Spider-Man, the best that they show was the platform stuff. It's me, like I said, these showcases should really, you know, go hard on like exclusives, not freaking multi-platforms things. Like those, all those people who make multi-platform games have their own showcases. Like Ubisoft has their own show. EA usually has their own freaking shows. It's like you need to show their shit. But I'm sure the fanboys are gonna be dumb and not notice that uh, a lot of this shit is. Um, Multi-platform, just like, oh, all it's all exclusives, right? No, no, it's not. They just, if Xbox is exclusive, it's not just a certain thing, but they basically, what they do is they intentionally freaking don't show the other platforms' names. They edit that stuff also and see. You know what I mean? They're just gonna go black screen. No, thank you for watching. Everyone in chat, two out of ten, four out of ten, five out of ten, six out of ten. L Sony, that was mid. I wouldn't say like it was bad. It was just like. You didn't really see much. Like you would, you would want more out of it. That was two hours long. You would want more out of a two hour long showcase. It was more like an hour, 14 minutes. That there was like a, a pre-show. They didn't really show anything. Like they ended it with Spider-Man, which we're already knew Spider-Man 2 is coming out this year. All the cool stuff they show was either A, a remake or B, a multi-platform game. You can't get too hyped with multi-platform stuff. There was no freaking new Last of Us thing. There was nothing about the Wolverine video game. Still no Bloodborne remake. Like things people actually wanted to see wasn't there. Like I have something to be excited for in terms of like when they do put that new Spider-Man game on PC and how I'll play it. I do feel like the, the downside is it's, it's going to turn into like one of those freaking fanboy things where Xbox fanboys and Sony fanboys argue about it like. Sony fanboy is gonna gonna like make it sound like it was like the most amazing fucking shit. And the Xbox fanboy is gonna think gonna say everything was bad, everything sucked. So I just wanted to throw like some some quick little nuggets in here towards the end of you know that else from the live stream. Follow me on Twitch, you know, link in the drop box below. But I'm um, like just generally, you know, it, it wasn't like the, the worst show and it wasn't a good show either. Um and, like my all my, my all uh, metrics are little all stretches of the imagination. You know, I don't consider myself a fanboy of any platform. You know, I don't own a PS5. I well, like, I, I I wish I had one, but I'm poor. You know, I'm I'm a, I'm a struggling content creator who can barely get 10 views on YouTube videos. Barely can barely get four views on the Switch stream. So you know, yeah. But I don't, I have a P, I play on PC, I play on mobile, and I play on Series X. I would own a Switch and I would own a PlayStation, PlayStation if I can afford to own either of those two platforms. But again, my all imaginations, I want both of them. I, I, I want to be that person who owns every single platform, like literally, even if it was like Stadia, that was still a thing. I want all that too. I am not a fanboy by any stretch of imagination. So don't get that from like this video or anything that I say, say during the stream as if it's like a, a hatred towards PlayStation because I used to own PlayStation. I had a PS1, I had a PS2, um, I had a P PSP. I wanted to get a Vita, but I didn't. Um, but, but yeah, like, I, I want all the platforms to see. I want all the platforms to have great shows. I want all the platforms to have great games. And, you know, to quote Paul Tazzy, who um, made an article for, for Forbes, you know, he said PlayStation showed too many Xbox games in its disappointing showcase because generally there, there were, were a lot of um, multi platform games shown. And I said that during, during the video, I said that during the stream. It's like, like there's just so many multi platform games being shown. And there's like a total of 14 multi platform games shown. Um, and it's like, for a one hour long show, an hour 14 minutes long long show, they didn't really show a lot of like um, exclusives, and that's generally what you know PlayStation's where like, everyone's everyone talking about uh, PlayStation and their games and PlayStation and, and their showcases always exclusive, exclusive, exclusives. They have so many exclusives, but like they barely showed any. You know, like they show Spider Man Two, which you know looks phenomenal. I I can't, I can't wait for it to come on PC. Again, I don't have PS5, so I can't wait to play on PS5, so I gotta wait a year or two, however long it takes to get to PS PC. But it looks amazing. The first two games are astonishing games, they're beautiful games. They're my favorite games on PC from PlayStation. So, you know, I imagine 2 is going to be just a, a, an utter masterpiece because my, my favorite villain from Marvel, um, not Marvel, but like from Spider Man Marvel, is Craven the Hunter. So I'm definitely going to enjoy the, the, the boss. I mean, unless it's like poorly written, but I doubt because the first two games that they came out were amazing. Yeah, but there's just not an, an, enough there. No, like that's the, the issue. The issue isn't that, that it's disappointing. It's just what you see 
it's you could just put on thoughts on youtube you literally could just went to youtube upload those videos and be like here this is what we're, we're announcing you know I, I like i said i left that showcase feeling like there's nothing shown that's first party that blows me away you know again other spider-man like exclude spider-man none of the exclusives that they showed the few that they showed blew me away they were just all right whatever you know and she would be like well what about final fantasy 16. final fantasy 16 is a final fantasy game and final fantasy games are hit or miss they either be really really good or really, really bad there's something between with, with that franchise um and i can wait you know this, this final fantasy 16 is not a console seller it's a game where it's like if you're a massive Final Fantasy fan, then sure you'll get it. But if you're, if you're a massive Final Fantasy fan, you probably don't own a PlayStation because it's been predominantly a PlayStation game its entire life. You know, with a few games here and there that came out on PC and, and Xbox. And the ones that came out on Xbox usually came out like years later, other than 15. And at the same time, like I don't really view 16 as like a, a must own. Like I see Dragon's Dogma 2, which is multi-platform as a must own. I don't view FF16 as a must own. It doesn't look like a must own. It just looks like it's gonna be really, really good, really bad, but also kind of looks generic. You know, like I do think disappointing is a fair word to use. He didn't call it bad. I feel like calling it bad is, is inaccurate, but to say it's disappointing, I definitely think it is true. You know, like again, majority of the things shown multi-platform if there was two is pc and ps5 um and mortals of, of venom is uh, is um xbox pc and ps5 uh ghost hunter 2 xbox pc and ps5 um venom blade zero is an exclusive that's ps5 that game just looks like a generic soul souls game <clears throat> um sword of the sea uninteresting ps5 only Alice Principle 2, it's a puzzle game, I think. It's all on platforms, not, not exclusive. Um, Neva, multi platform, including Switch. So it's not even like just on new gen, it's on Switch as well. Um, Pirates of the, of the Parabene is on all platforms. Um, Foam, Foam, Foam Stars, the wannabe freaking Splatoon game, it's on all platforms. Um, Lucky Squire. I don't see like a list of what platforms it's on, but that was something additional. Teardown was shown becoming only PS5. So maybe it's a title exclusive, who knows? Not interested. The remake from Metal uh, Snake Eater is on all platforms. Um, only on Steam though. It won't be on freaking Epic. Um, there's also a remastered collection of the original three games coming out as well. So all, all that multi-platform. Um, Towers of what I, I can't even pronounce that, but like that, that, that bit. That's coming PS5 only. Um, 16, you already mentioned that being exclusive. Alan Wake 2, multi platform. That's Creep Mirage, multi platform. Revenant Heal, gonna be on PS5, PS4. Um, Grand Blue, PS4, PS5, Street Fighter 6, multi platform. <clears throat> All Trolls, PS5, PS4, and PC. Tower Fantasy, um, it's already on PC. They didn't show a release trailer or um, a release trailer with a release date or what consoles it's on other than PS5. So that's a, you know, who knows? It wasn't surprised if it's only on PS5 because Japanese games tend to not do very good on Xbox. But, you know, maybe it will be on Xbox. I don't know. Uh, Dragon's Dogma 2, multi platform. Master of Freddy is for VR. Uh, Resident Evil 4 VR. Arizona Sunshine 2 for VR. Crossfire. Crossfire sucks. But VR. Synopsis VR Beat Saber um, and Queen DLC Marathon, which is you know Bungie's first game before Halo, that's gonna be multi platform. Destiny 2 had a teaser, multi platform. Concord um, is a PC and PS5 game. They showed a movie trailer, who cares about, about Gran Turismo and Project Q, which is um, a handheld device. And then obviously Spider Man, that's what they showed. You know, I don't care about VR, VR is uninterested in me. I have no interest in VR, I don't want to own anything VR related. You know, until it gets to a point where it's like, wow, that is so cool. I have to have that. VR is uninteresting. And they spent like a good chunk of, of the, the showcase on VR. I don't care about VR. But yeah, like it's, it's, it's disappointing, but it's not bad. You know, and again, no fanboy here. We don't do, I'm a very unbiased person when it comes to stuff like this. So I don't tend to be, be a fanboy if Xbox sucks. I want to tell you that it sucks. If Nintendo sucks, I'll tell you that it sucks. If the game showcase is lame, I'm going to say the game showcase is lame. 
this showcase PlayStation with Game Fest, from Game Fest, not the game showcase. Um, this PlayStation showcase was just meh. Like there's a part of my stream and I edited, I edited all the parts I was uninterested out of the video. Where I was just like looking at freaking social media. I was just uninterested. I didn't care. And I, I edited that out because who wants to just want someone just staring at their other monitor just. Now that's what that was for like VR segments and some of the indie games they showed. I just wasn't interested. But anyways, this is the first video. Thank you for watching. If you want to enjoy, do all things out and lights. Um, like the video, comment, subscribe. Link down to Twitch and description below. Stream Monday, Thursday. Uh, it, you know, that means everybody's streaming right after you watch this video. I'll cut out to the video like 3 p.m., 4 p.m. We'll see. Easter Standard Time. Um, yeah, the link tree. You all link to my other channels. Sorry if I sound a little bored. I just woke up. So, yeah. I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Y'all stay safe. You guys want another B-Boy. Nobis, I'm out of here. Deuces.